Hey, y'all, welcome to Streaming Matters, episode 60. And I want to thank uh, Twilight for jumping in and joining the panel today. Uh, we may see Blue later on today or later on this evening. Uh, she's got some uh, family or some friends in the, at her place today. So maybe she'll come on, maybe she won't. Um, sorry, I ran a little bit late. I was talking with Twilight and next thing you know, time slipped by. So, um, but thanks for joining in and we will do the drawings. We're going to talk about Link Snappy. We'll talk to uh, Twilight about um, what's going, what kind of how he got started and um, we'll do the giveaways uh, and we're going to try to break the giveaways up. We're going to break them up in a couple of segments so that people that may join in a little bit later can get part of, be part of that. So I see a lot of our regulars. Hey, I see Carl's jumped in the side chat. So um, lots of people in the side chat. Thanks for joining me, uh, Twilight. Thank you for uh, inviting me. All right. Um, I'm pleased uh, to, to join you on uh, actually one of my uh, first live shows uh, here on YouTube. Well, uh, in, in my live shows, May it, <laughs> they're kind of out there a little bit, and sometimes we tend to talk over a lot of people's heads, even talk over my head if Carl's talking. <laughs> and uh, it, it just, but we try to inform people as much as possible. Um, I try to be honest about my opinions on certain things, and even if it, other people don't agree with it, it's my opinion. Um, uh, but I also try to be respectful to people and be respectful to all the work that people do in this community. I mean, because there is so much, so much going on. So let's first start, we'll get started off about all the big news that's going on right now. And then we'll get to uh, a few of the drawings. Um, let's see. So let's talk about all these repos shutting down, the add-ons shutting down. And I'm not sure, Twilight, if you've been keeping up with the uh, all of the, the news and the Twitters and the Facebooks and all of the information that's people closing down. Um, mm -hmm. but first was, first was shut, shut down was supremacy. Yeah. Rumor has it, don't know if it's true. Rumor has it was that, and there was, all right, there was an article in a newspaper about a Cody add-on developer that was arrested and it was in a certain town in the UK. Very unfortunate. Yes. Very unfortunate. Um, and it's, it's scary. Uh, and we've talked about this in the show that, you know, it's scary to be in the very front spotlight of a big add-on and all this stuff and, and you know, getting letters. Um, but s rumor had it that supremacy was one of it. Now, I don't know that if he was the person that was arrested. Have I have no proof. Nobody's verified that. I've not went out because that he, he posted that he would quit. He was quitting, shut his repo down, shut his add-ons down. Um, and there was an article in the paper that somebody was arrested. Um, if it was him, not him. He shut down a very, very sad thing. And then the uh, nervousness that that tends to come with this stuff, which is very understandable, the nervousness of a lot of other people shutting down due to the worry of um, of a crackdown or other names coming out. Uh, like, a, let's see. So Maverick shut down. Uh, Star Tech shut down. Uh, Legion and Unhinged shut down. 13 Clowns shut down. Eggman shut down. Um, the, uh, redemption add-on was shut down. Monster Munch was shut. The add-on was shut down. Back in time, um, add-on was shut down. Yeah, it's like a domino effect. Yes. Yes. And it is. Um, and I remember back when, uh, you remember when, uh, all right. So you had the first one TVA got their, their letter. All right. And you remember TVA booted and never shut down all that stuff. And you had that domino of people quitting. All right, then the, the, the ground kind of, everyone got calm after a bit of time. And then there was the next uh, wave that came around. Uh, a bunch of add-ons got letters, supposedly, and some people left. And then I remember when all my friends with Noobs and Nerds got their, um, many of them got letters. And they all quit. And then there was another a wave or a domino effect after that. Um, and it's very understandable in, in because most of the people that are doing this stuff, are doing it as a hobby. They're doing it as a complete yeah. hobby. They're making no money off of it. Most of the time they actually pay out of pocket for a server or whatever. And so when you have these people that are- no, um, right, uh, Rights holders do not care about if someone does it for hobby or for profit. 
all we all the carries have complete control control over their uh, you know their they're, intellectual they're, property. Yeah, their their content. They uh, their content. Uh, uh, what the developer should do is, um, you know, you are doing something. You have to uh, know how to hide well. Yeah, they have to use some uh, VPN or or whatever and yep. hide their real address or identity. Uh, they have to do it very, uh, you know, in secrecy as much yeah. as possible. Yeah, as much as, and the thing is, is that when you create a, a URL and, a, and a, a web address, a lot of times people think, oh, well, I'll create this web address or I'll set up this GitHub and I'll put my real information and they're not thinking that anything's going to happen from it. But then that information can be public record. And can Everything is, is, is logged inside the GitHub uh, API. Right. And, yeah, it's long. And, and so those that information can be got to and can be retrieved and can be pulled, uh, can be subpoenaed, exactly. all that kind of stuff. So, you, you know, and I've said it numerous times, be safe about what we're doing. And uh, I've always suggested keep small, <laughs> keep your add on small. Don't try to be popular as much as I know the guy that runs Cody apps. I got no issue with him. He's a nice guy, um, creates, you know, has a website where he tries to inform people. Uh, to me, I don't want to be, I don't want to have an add-on on there. I, I don't want my add-on on a list that 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 thousands of people can see every day if they yeah. want to. Um, yeah. I don't want my add-on there. Now, there is a lot of people in the community that do. There is a lot of people that create add-ons, and they start off doing it for themselves, but then as more people um, – um, thank them and, and appreciate their work they they get a little bit more oh yeah well let me help this person let me help these let me make my bad on bigger and you end up creating a very big target and to me um when we had the takedown of tba and you had to take down a nan and then uh a, 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 a zunity shut down and you had these big targets that were easy to go after and when yeah. they took down that big target they took down a whole lot of add-ons that went with it so um just be aware that this is a um it, it's a term a lot of turmoil going on right now uh if you're a person that you, you're using a build well then you'll probably need to use a different add-on um not all the add-ons are gone but a lot of them are uh things like uh all right so for example exodus forks your yoda um redemption i think redemption was an exodus fork and uh what well, well, they are many. Well, 13 clowns and Eggman both had they both had Exodus forks. Now, those add-ons will continue to work. So people because of how those add-ons are created in the way that they look towards um TMDB or uh, uh the TV database, uh they will those add-ons will continue to work as as Exodus did for a long time. And actually Exodus probably still works if you install it. It, there may some of the scrapers may not work, but it'll still work over a period of time. Your Mavericks, your StarTex, your Supremacies, those will not work because the way that those add-ons are designed is that they, the add-on opens and it looks at an XML, a text file out online, and that text file tells it where what's all the all the categories, your movies, TVs, whatever it is, direct links. It has it reads it. That's what's displayed on your Kodi. <laughs> those add-ons will not work right away. Those are those add-ons are going to be done because that add-on needs to be able to retrieve that information off the internet. Whereas any of the Exodus forks, your thirteen clowns, your Eggman, uh, what was his over easy? I think. Um, uh, what was it? What was that going to? What are the other couple? Um, some of those Exodus forks will continue to work because of the the way that they're designed. So you may say, well. Um, over easy still working. Yes, but over time that will con continue to slow down and not work. Uh, things will break. Um, so that's the difference between uh, an Exodus fork, the way that it's done, and um, some of these playlists, like a Maverick, uh, which was a playlist, which is actually looking at an XML. So, um, so what what do you think about that? Uh, about this big thing? I mean, you've been around. You've been around for a while, so you've seen the ups and downs and of this yeah. yeah i've seen uh, you know uh i've been in the code scene since uh, 2016 
you know, I started uh, for some uh, strange reason. I, my old apartment didn't have uh, an antenna, so I couldn't watch TV. I said, oh, uh, it's Lambda. So I have to, you know, fix uh, Hellenic TV. And that proved, uh, proved uh, really difficult. I couldn't fix that. I was, uh, you know, I was a beginner at the time. So uh, exactly three years ago on uh, 22nd of uh, June, I thought myself, maybe, okay, Let's do something from scratch. And then we learn. Uh, so then Alive Jar uh, was born, my flagship addon. It's uh, something for, for Greek users. So I've seen, you know, Lambda uh, created ex Exodus. It was the most popular addon. And a year later, you know, in 2017, uh, we arrested the... Uh, uh, the guy from TV Adams, webmaster Adam. Adam, Adam, yes, Adam Lackman. You know, he he prefers not to call him by his name, always use his alias. So, uh, um, okay, yeah. I've seen, I, uh, uh, like you said, uh, I've seen many ups and downs. I really miss the, those days actually, <laughs> before the crackdown of the Canadian uh, uh, rights holders. I was trying to read through some of the questions. See if there. I was trying to. I try to watch to, to see if there's questions. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I do not read the comments because there are no. too many. No. Yeah. That's not not a problem. I'm trying to just watch some of those as I'm listening. It is. Uh, it is good and it's bad. I. I just. I think that you. We have ups and downs. Um. And when people are like, well, then nobody's going to do anything. I, the, the Motion Picture Association ace fact is not going to go away. Um, they're going to also look at the best bang for their buck when they're trying to shut things down. Um, and they're going to, they try to make, uh, uh, a, um, uh, an example. Um, and, and I don't know, again, I, 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 I spoke to supremacy guy oh, a couple times and it's been about a year ago. I think the last time I spoke to him, so it's been a long time ago. Um, but so I don't know him on a personal basis to be able to say, but I mean, I don't know if he got letters leading up to that if if he was the one that was in trouble. I again, I don't know. Um, I know lots of people speculate that and um, maybe maybe it was somebody that he knew and that's why he shut down. Um, it could have been someone very close to him or one of his team members that was working on that because sometimes there's mul multiple multiple people working on one add on. So that can happen. So, um, it's, it's, uh, it's very scary in a way and, um, sad to see, uh, in, like I've said to numerous times to people, you know, if you're going to, there's lots of ways you can make add-ons, even if you're not super technical. Um, you know, there was the, the different templates that you can use and make it small. That's, that's, that works for you. That works to watch the content you want because that's what your the main focus is that you want to be able to watch what you want. No, for me, if you if you want to start, to start developing an add-on, what you should do is find a good library that will provide very important functions. Like you know, request is a very good library. Um, second, you have to use uh, some. Uh, um, uh, functions that will help you create directories and then last but not least the resolve URL library that will help you uh, uh, convert the uh, web URLs like YouTube into playable uh, uh, video. Right. Well, I think for most people, I mean, because you, you, you have some experience, you have a, a knowledge in coding I think most people find if you if you take another add-on that's out there and if you tinker around with it on your own, um, sometimes you can figure out how certain aspects, uh, certain places, certain things are. Um, I, I, and that's the way a lot of people learn. I, I've tinkered around with several add-ons and you can make it look different. And again, it to, you can tinker around with these things to make it work for you and not 
have to rely on some another big add-on. Most of the time, we, we I see so many people that um, jump from add-on to add-on to add-on. Um, you don't have to. I mean, there's there's several good ones, and if um, if you if you wanted to like tweak around, tweak around and create your own add-on, there is templates out there. Like I said, the the Gen add-on easy. I mean, you can't get any easier than setting that up. If you want to set up something for yourself, just set it up for yourself for you and your family, and then it has only the content you care about, the shows that you care about, the movies that you care about, nothing else. Um, and and I know that um, I was helping with with the, the guy who was doing Destiny. Another easy, e well, not super easy. It's, it's more difficult to go through his code and to actually remove, but you can remove certain stuff that you don't want and then say, boom, there's my own add-on. And Look, uh, actually, I'm against the use of builds. I'm against because, because, like you said, uh, you know, there's only a few things you need in your life. Uh, you know, actually, three add-ons the most. Uh, it's it's what you need. Uh, an add-on for Light TV to watch your local content. Maybe an add-on like Exodus and uh, YouTube. That's it. Maybe a radio add-on to, to listen to radio. And that's it. The, you don't know too many stuff. You know... Uh, okay, builds have uh, provide some easiness. It's yeah. easy to set up a lot of things in uh, in one uh, run. So I'm still I'm still against this practice because if you do it this way, you won't be able to learn how code works and uh, maintain it the way you want uh, exactly. You can uh, install your own skin. You can set uh, set up your home screen with the shortcuts you like, and that's it. Uh, that's my opinion. Yeah, and, and you're right. I mean, um, uh, you know, and I mean, I, I had I had a build. I had I had numerous builds over the years, and then it got to where I actually had builds in 2016. Yeah. I maintained maintained a couple of builds. Yeah. Uh, that was the uh, Isengard at the time and Jarvis. And then uh, a few uh, a few months later, I I observed that uh, oh okay, it's not um, I don't have time to maintain the builds. Yeah, it is a lot of work. I realized it's it's uh, you know builds are uh, uh, sometimes can be bloated. Yep. Yep. Well, and and I've yeah, well uh, speaking from a person years ago that had a bloated build and I'd be the first to accept years ago, I, I thought, you know, I had to have this add on that add on this add on this add on. And um, over years, I decided and I figured I've decided and because I knew what I used. And I said, you know, why am I making builds for whoever? Why don't I make a build that I only care about that only going to have two or three add ons or four add ons that I'm going to use? And that's it. And I don't need no other add ons because I'm not using the other stuff. And I got to where I made put less and less stuff in my builds, uh, which made it easier. I didn't have to update it as often. And then my friends and family could have it. Um, and that was the main thing is I wanted my friends and family because I have family members that have it, have it. And they're like, you know, Todd, do you want to come fix this for me? Well, I don't want to go to someone's house, you know, my aunt's house or my uncle's house or my cousin's house and fix it. Whereas if I fix my build, I could say, just go through the wizard and update it and you're, you're done. And that was why I kept going, because actually I was going to quit doing it. And I said, but you, I'll just be small. I don't want to be popular. I, I don't, I, you know, I don't care if nobody but my family downloads my bill, because that's the only people I really care about. And not saying I don't care about regular folks that are using it, but those are my people I come in contact with that I, that I cared about. So builds get big. and, and um, But the problem is, is that it's so... With the with the fire sticks and the Android boxes and the and lots of all the stuff selling, what's what's created? What this has created is you have a humongous amount of completely um, ignorant, and that's not in a bad term, but you have completely ignorant people of how Cody works, how to install an atom. Most people that have have no idea what to install from a repository means, what to install from a zip means, has no idea. And to me, that's not the people that should be in, using it, unless it's my aunt and, or my uncle or cousin that I'm like, hey, I'll call them up and tell them how to do it. So I think we've flooded 
Cody with so many people that don't have any clue on how it works. No clue. And that creates more problems. It's not for all users. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it used to be it used to be a hobbyist thing that you had to be, you know, you had to be a little bit smart had to figure out because it wasn't spoon fed. I think we spoon feed everybody now. So that, that's just a uh you know how the direction has went. And I do understand that not everybody has me that they can call and say, Todd, fix this for me. Um, but if you can't figure out the basics, do you need to be using it? Um, you know, maybe you're better off with just using Netflix and Hulu. Maybe that works better for Amazon Prime. Yeah. Um, um, you know, but, you know, but the thing is, is that you, all right. So some people don't know how a car works, but uh, maybe they should not drive. It, and it's not a matter of that. If, if they can't put gasoline in their car, should they be driving a car? If they can't basically maneuver the car and know the basics on how to keep it going to, to put fuel in it, to make sure there's air in the tires. Um, should they, you know, to me, should they be driving? And, and sometimes I think with Cody, we just hand them a device and say, there you go. And somebody's selling it and making 20, 50, 70, a hundred bucks off of them and out the door they go. And, you know, so I, I don't know. I, I think that there's, there's a, a, an aspect that you need, it's good to be able to help people, but also if people have no clue, should they be using it? Um, maybe the best thing to do is just to stick with Netflix and Hulu. I tell people all the time, it'd be better to do that. Um, so I'm going through, I'm going to try to go through some of this chat stuff. I'm going to start here at the bottom. Um, uh, so da -da -da -da. Let's see. Uh, and then there was talk. There's talks of Plex. I don't know if you've used Plex. Plex is a no. I, I have never used Plex. Plex is a good option. Um, and we talk about a lot of streaming. We'll, we talk on the show. We talk about APKs. We talk about Cody. We talk about streaming or Plex. Plex is a, an option. But again, you still have to understand how some of that works and how to get the content. Um, and you actually have to pay for it. Um, there's there's a, a pay part of of well, you don't have to pay for Plex. But if you're going to to be safe, you kind of have to. Um, Plex isn't for everybody, but it's for a person that wants to create a library and you want instant stuff. Um, and, and you're creating that library either locally by downloading it, which can be a problem if you're using the, the wrong ways of downloading it because to, you shouldn't actually download unless you should always only get stuff that you have content of, um, the license to, to make a copy of it. Um, or you're pulling it from a server and you need to understand this, but it's a good option. Um, I have plenty of friends that are doing it now and um, most of them give me access to their, well, several of them give me access to their Plex and it's nice. I just click it and boom, 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 and it plays. So, um, uh, bah, 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 bah. and all right. So Lee says, if you buy a DVD, you have the rights to download it. True. And you also have the rights to make a digital copy for your own use. Um, but you don't have the rights to distribute it. And that's, uh, that's true. That you can't do that. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba, they're talking of there. I see some talk about Plex and, and again, Plex and there, there again, Plex is another way that a lot of people are making money, um, creating a Plex server, then allowing people to, to join that Plex server to, um, um, recoup their, 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 their costs or to actually make money on it. Uh, it, it. The thing about with Plex, Plex has the ability to shut down a lot of um, plugins. They, they can stop a plugin right away, whereas Cody doesn't. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you don't see Plex IPTV going on as much as you did there for a while. It was going on pretty heavy, and Plex put a heavy stop on that. Um, not that there's not workarounds, but they really made it difficult for people to try to sell IPTV services through Plex. Um, it can be done, but it's not as easy as it used to be. Um, I see Plex talk. Uh, da, 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 da. And again, um, uh, uh, the one one says people should avoid Plex. Let's download content that we don't own and then talk about possession. It's once it's downloaded and, 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 and you know, you're not allowed in most countries, not all countries, um, depends on where you live. Um, some have no issues with torrenting and 
all that kind of stuff. Some countries do. You need to know the laws of your kind of, of where you live. So um, let's see. John says, Butch, why don't they just shut down the websites people are downloading content of taking down add-ons and APKs? And they do. Google gets um, Google gets uh, takedown notices uh, all the time, and they also take down links all the time. And sometimes Google will post that they've taken down a half a million links. Um, and that happens. To take down a website, they have to um, – Ace Fact, uh, Motion Picture Association, whoever has to go through quite a few steps before they can take a website down. Let it have a lot of proof. Um, and how easy is it to open up another website? You can make a clone of this website and put it on another URL and boom, you're already golden. Uh, one, two, three movies, for example. How many websites do they have? How many URLs? Numerous. So that's kind of um, how that works. So it's it's google it's a cat and mouse game yeah it is a cat and mouse game exactly what it is and it, it happens um but if you make yourself too big of a mouse that you're not able to run quickly <laughs> makes, a, makes <laughs> a, is the cat a little bit of an advantage to be able to stop you and that's why with cody add-ons stopping this one big add-on it you know puts a bump dent in it um because i've i've heard so many different numbers of how many cody users are in the world um, i mean i've heard as many you know 11 million or 20 million i, I don't know but it, it's a lot and it grows every day um and i do know that a lot of people are moving towards apks but as i've said numerous shows when you when you're watching you're watching an apk you're pulling from the same sources that cody's pulling from nine times out of ten you're pulling from the same websites so you think well i'll just use apks you're gonna have the same problem and how many apks have been shut down um a bunch um what was it Ter terrarium tv that was humongous and it got shut down and boom it was done and gone um now there's a bunch of clones of it but uh, so all right so i'm gonna go ahead and stop uh i don't see if other people have questions i will do my best to uh to hit on that um okay so um, bah, 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 bah. I was looking through. Okay, so do, do you want to go ahead and we'll do our the first drawings uh, for um, Link Snappy, and then we'll talk about Link Snappy. I did not uh, mention that. Uh, not yet. We did not, we forgot to mention uh, about Link Snappy. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, we could talk about Link Snappy, and then we'll do a drawing, and then talk some more, and then do another drawing. Um, so. Link Snappy, explain what Link Snappy is because I haven't heard about it. I hadn't heard about it until about two weeks ago, maybe. Yep. Maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, when I saw a tweet from Jay Sergio about it. So what what is it for people that have no idea, have never heard of it? You know, Link Snappy, it's like a, a, a real debris alternative. They have uh, uh, a few more hosts. And they have uh, uh, a very good support uh, team. Uh, they are very friendly. Uh, they listen to the users. And, uh, you know, I decided uh, to contact them and bring support for their service to Cody. They also support Torrents. They have some... Uh, um, most popular movies are actually very... Uh, they, are, they are cast as well. So they will instantly play inside Exodus. And... Um, you know, it's a uh, it's something new, it's something new, but it has a, it has a lot of potential. And so, the this is like a premium hosting uh, service. Um, yeah, it's like right? a, a premium hosting. like a premiumized or an all debrid or a real debrid. Um, it's a premium service that that basically houses certain content um, to on servers that their users or their subscribers are able to pull content from, right? Exactly. So they, they, uh, the, the plugin inside the Resolve URL will uh, work in conjunction with the scrapers inside Exodus and uh, it's uh, able to display the links in, uh, into the uh, user screen inside Kodi. Okay, so and well, and Chuck said that he'd used Link Snappy years and years ago, and, and it was funny because 
the first time I mentioned about Link Snappy, someone said, all oh, of the porn thing, in which I had no idea. Um, so I guess they're linked to some adult. Chuck, Chuck Farley says uh, yeah. porn, site, uh, porn sites always promoted it. Yeah. Exactly. That's how, uh, that's how I discovered it myself. Oh, well, uh, no, <laughs> he's going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and give out some secret information there. But <laughs> uh, this happened to come along it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so basically it is a, uh, premium, um, service and in the, the, um, the, the idea is, and it's, it's not been used by Cody at all until recently, until you created a plugin, which is going to be put in the, in, in, in an update for, for resolve URL. Correct. Yeah. I, I, uh, added uh, a progress dialogue the i mean the the latest uh, it's not released yet the latest pull request i submitted to jay sergio it's going to have some uh, tweaks into uncast uh, content so uh, it will uh, you know uh, enhance the user experience i believe it also contains bug fixes it also contains some uh, logging uh, and uh, you know readability to logging, mm -hmm. so you know users can uh, report to me or report to Jay Sergio uh, what kind of issue is uh, you know uh, going on about Link Snappy, and I'm will be responsible for the maintenance of this plugin. And and the uh, the part that you're just having the plugin because all right, so for people that may not or not may not understand, so. A, a, a Cody add-on opens up the scrapers, okay? And so the, the scrapers look to a website for whatever content you're looking for. And it will grab, and you'll see that on, on an add-on. It gives you all those links, right? And yes. then what it does is you say, I want this link. And then that's when URL Resolver, uh, or Resolve URL, that's when Resolve URL says, let me take you to that particular website. Yes. And... So what you create is the Pi file, the plugin that will add the resolve URL will have link snappy so that it'll actually be able to go to that website to pull from their servers. If you have a premium account, and that's like real Libre does. Um, Jay Sergio added, you know, that was stuff when he added the torrent stuff, which this has the torrent feature. Um, and you, and I, I was looking through, and again, this is this website is pretty new to Cody content. Am, am I right? I mean, it was. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, um, yeah, it's new. It's new for uh, for Cody, but uh, uh, most of the uh, hosts they support are uh, similar to Real Good Breed. Yeah, but but you know they have a few more actually. And, and we posted the link. We posted the link, or um, Twilight posted the link, and if you can click it and you can look at it, and you'll see the hosters. And you can do a lot of the same features as Real Debrid. You can um, put a a link to Rapid Gator or uh, what's it? Uh, uh, Upload Gig. I think I saw that name in there. Uh, several of those sites that have pull, or you can put a torrent, and it will download it. And what? One of the things that Real Debrid has been used so much and um, that it's created a large library. And if any of us, we've talked about Real Debrid complaining about the torrent amount that they have had to store, that the torrent amount is so much and they've done different things about um, limiting at times. Yeah. Because it, it everybody, they, when you click something, and if it's not there, it's cached. It, it tells Real Debrid, go get this torrent for me. And so yeah. you find it real big. This is still kind of small, so it doesn't have as many files on there already that Real Debrid would have because I'm pretty Real certain they, they, that they, as soon as it's adopted by users, they are going to catch up, I believe. Yeah. But but still, you know, they have they already have uh, cast torrents, uh, especially for popular movies like Avengers. Yeah. 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 And, I mean, but it's just. It takes time, and and if you remember, I remember when I first used uh, when uh, when Resolve URL first added torrents to it, um, torrent support. I remember like it would be like one out of every 
one out of every two or uh, two out of every three, I, I would have to wait for it to cash. It would say it's not cash and you would see a timer. And it was like, basically what it was doing is I would have, I had told Real the Bridge, hey, I want this particular video. And Real the Bridge like, okay, I'm going to get it for you. And they would store it on their server. Um, and over time, since so many people have used it, they've created a larger library. But some people have complained about the slowness of it. Um, some people have complained about um, it not being reliable, um, sometimes not working, um, links dropping. So, in you know, what you pay is what you get. That's yeah. my uh, yeah. my motto. Yeah, my yeah, my point was that as they got bigger, it, it's it's gotten a little more unstable. Yeah, you know, real debris is cheap, but they have many downtimes, and they have uh, you know uh, poor user support. You ask them something on Twitter and you are instantly blocked. I had that many times. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't like any questions and they, they are very vague on answers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very vague. If you answer or try to answer a question or ask a question, if they answer your question, it's going to be so vague that you're not sure. Um, it, 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 so, yeah, it's uh, their, their customer service is not top notch. So again, you get what you pay for, and this being new uh, to Cody being offered in this with adding this. I plugin, think they got enormous the and they don't care. Well, they don't really care. Well, they probably don't. Um, and with with you, I, I just think about the amount of the users that they have. I, it'd be it has to be mind boggling. Um, the the number of things. And um, when vape, vape, uh, vaping says already has to uh, be vague, probably to protect themselves. I think at times they do, but sometimes when people ask a certain question, um, uh, I have seen Real Debrid be just a little bit shitty about their answer. Um, and I guess I, I think about you get asked stupid questions over and over, and you know how you get to be a little bit more on edge the the hundred hundredth time you've heard that question. Um, maybe that's the issue. Maybe they've heard the same things and the same complaints and they're like, you know, but even if you go on their website, I'll use, for example, their, the, the, when they've limited the, uh, limited the downloads, continuous, uh, um, simultaneous downloads when they've, I don't know if you've ever seen it where they'll limit it. It's, I think it's, it's either 10 or 25. Now I can't remember. They jump around and they'll lower it to five and they'll, you'll, they'll, people will ask, well, why and how long? No answer. Then in the, you you go on what is a, a simultaneous uh, download. There's not going to be no answers for that. That's so um, so vague on on any answers of any questions. So if you go through their forums and try to an, try to look for questions, it, it's you, good luck. I mean, it's guesses. No. Everybody's guessing. Yeah, let me let me tell you. Tell also users that you know, uh, you know. I noticed that link snapping not so limiting to users. It's expensive, but you can use it. You know, almost unlimited times. Mm -hmm. You can even request uh, in your own house, maybe uh, have five uh, devices and they and request something from Link, Link Snappy, uh, you know, simultaneously. And uh, you can earn a few uh, free days by sharing your referral link. And if your referral buys the days, then these days will automatically uh, pop it to your own account. Well, and I saw that you can just by signing up, you're able to give referrals to people for for free days. Um, I want to say it was 30 days um, that I when I clicked in my thing, I, I, it had like some links that I could send to my friends that could just try it for 30 days for free just for signing up. Um, I know one had a referral for night. You could give a referral or not a, just a, 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 a give, gift to somebody for 90 days if you signed up for six months. Um, so I, I saw that they had that, like I said, I want to say that, um, like on some of those vouchers, I, if I'm not mistaken, there was three different, um, three different, uh, one month things that I could, that I could give as somebody else and just to try it out. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's where, you know, I think that I'm always, I'm always looking to seeing what's new and what, where's things going. I'm wondering at some point if there's going to be more and more of these types of services, because I think the days of free links 
um, and free. Well, I shouldn't say free links because I think you'll always find some free links. Free quality links, I think, are are going away quicker and quicker. I think that it's uh, as much as people may complain about paying. Um, and I saw one of the guys over in the chat was complaining about, well, if we're paying, doesn't that defeat the purpose? Well, no. Um, pay for a cable bill. What what is what's the, in the U.S. If you have internet and you have uh, uh, cable TV and you have the 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 um, the basic, uh, not just a not just local, but you're going to get the basic stuff. You're going to pay eighty to a hundred bucks to to get your basic cable package, and put your cable put your internet on top of that. If you're if you have internet through your cable company, so you're up at one hundred and seventy, one hundred and sixty. Some of my friends are paying well over two hundred dollars a month. A month, and so when you talk about some of these premium services, you're like, well, that's going to be three, five, six dollars a month to, to get to a premium service. Well, that defeats the whole purpose. No, I mean, I can I can pay my cable company and, I, and they'll, I'll get what they offer and I'll pay 200, 150, 200 dollars a month. So uh, you decide where you want to put your money. Um, you know, uh, so uh, it's hard to I can't say that you should never pay. That's up to each person to decide what they want to pay for. Um, but, uh, it's, it's simple for me. It's math of how much I would pay for, uh, my regular cable and how much would I pay now paying three or $4 to be able to click, a uh, 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 something in it play. Hey, I'm happy. Um, I, I could spend 10 minutes looking for a link. Sure. And maybe I get halfway through it and the damn link freezes up. How, how, angry do I get when that happened? I mean, some of the reasons why I went and ended up getting a premium service. Um, but again, personal choice, you got to decide what's up to you. Yeah. Um, what works for you. Choice. Yeah. It's a complete hundred percent choice. Um, you know, and I've, we've talked about, we on the show, we've talked about IPTV. We've talked about VPNs. That's all your choice and what you feel fits your needs that fits your, your budget, um, that fits your life. Um, if, if, and I'm telling you, cable TV, the, the, in satellite programs now, the packages, I mean, are just crazy when people say, well, I don't want to pay $3 a month or $5 a month for a premium hosting. Well, okay. Like I said, how much is cable TV? I mean, you're on the low end, a hundred dollars, unless you get just locals, which is going to cost you uh, 50 bucks and just get an antenna and put it outside in the U S you get channel. So, all right. So, um, Let's do the giveaway. Yeah, let's do a giveaway. Okay, so what I would like is, all right, this is going to take me a few minutes. So what I'm going to want is uh, everybody that's in the chat, if you want to be part of the giveaway, um, what Twilight's going to offer is a month of Link Snappy, and he's going to give you a voucher, and you'll have a month of it, and you can try it out and decide if you like it, if you want. And like I said, I'm almost positive that you're able to, to have some links that you can share those with somebody else. Um, but don't don't swear by it because I don't have it open. I don't have it open right now to look at mine. But I, I could have swore I saw that in my uh, in my own in my dashboard. Uh, but if you wanted, if you would like to be part of the the drawing, uh, post a number one next to your name, and I will grab your name. And then what we're gonna do is you'll have to post. You if you win, you'll have to give me your e you'll have to post your email. I will hide it so that nobody can see your email. And then. Um, I will give that to Twilight and he'll email it to you. So yeah. put a number one beside your name and I will go through the list. Now only do it once, please, so that I don't get um and if because if I see you post more than once, not to be a jerk, but you're fucking disqualified because you just ask for me to work hard. Yeah, maybe I will uh, share my screen so that Yeah, 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 yeah show how um, it works. All right. Well, after, after we do the contest, the random pick of the numbers. Yep. All right. I've I've got you um, focused, so you can share your screen, and they'll see that while I'm doing this. Yeah. Just a moment. So. Uh, are users able to look at my screen? Yep, they should be able to see it. 
I had I, I highlighted you. That's great. So I have a few add-ons. Um, so let's go for example Exodus Redux. If users want to enter their uh, their username and password, let's say you you have already registered, you have already obtained uh, your username and password. You go inside, as you've already seen here. This is no, sorry. Exodus Redux tools resolve your other settings. So you go, you then go to Universal Resolvers, and then here's Link Snappy. Uh, select this option, reauthorize my account. That's it. Wait. Just a moment. I, I would like to hide my screen, but. Oh. Just a moment. There is, um, I don't know how many people are watching the, 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 I don't know how many people are in here, but there's a lot of damn names on this thing. Anyway, anyway, just, I will just disable for uh, briefly and then re-enable. Yep. Okay, so I got the message that re uh, Link Snapper Resolver has been authorized. Then, uh, new movies. Adventure set game. Let's see. <clears throat> You should see this uh, premium line that says uh, how many links are obtained through Link Snappy. Got to be getting close to the end of this. Yeah. I got to be. <laughs> I ain't never seen so many names in here. It's all your fault, Twilight. You brought him in. What happened? I don't know. It's always good when you're doing live shows. <laughs> that's when something's gonna. That's when something's not gonna work. Exactly. Hi, right, Gordon. Gordon, trying to mess no, me. Uh, Exodus the Redux has uh, its fair share of bugs. All right, um, I think I'm. 
I think. Oh, once again. Okay, I think that was yeah, everybody. Leap on Captain Marvel. Let's try this one. All right. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Holy moly. I'm going to give a birth to an offspring. But what? That's what Greek says. Say. All right. If they wait, if they wait for a long time, they say, oh, I'm going to give birth to an offspring. Oh, okay. Hey, you're not sharing your screen no more, boss. Oh, I'm not? No. Maybe when you closed it. <laughs> uh, Paul, no, I don't have a tornado warning. Okay, now we're back to you. All right, I'm, you're seeing it. We're seeing it now. We got Jay Sergio's jumped in the chat. Oh. A bochino, hey. Hey, now we're looking at. Um, oh, are you showing? You're showing me. Oh, handsome sorry. Fellow, the <laughs> handsome fellow that I am. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Exodus Redux is not working. Uh, is it not? Have you tried? Um, hold on a second. Let me try to share my screen. I had it. Uh, mine was working. Uh, bu -bu 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 yeah, yeah. Share me. Um, Cody. Full screen. All right. So this is on me. Yeah. All right. People watching. And I did a search for this. Oh, look at the cache. Of course, the cache is clean. <laughs> it's been is wiped. Normally, you leave it open, it'll, it'll stay cached for a little bit, but uh, it's stopped. And so it's because I had cached some of these earlier, and I was thinking, oh, that'll make it quicker for me to show it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I didn't cache any. Yeah. I. I. Well, I, this was cached uh, an hour ago, or just a little over an hour ago, and. I didn't, I hadn't edited the, the cache on, so, and it's been open, so, I don't know. Then I'll click it, and then you'll see it has the, um, give us the, uh, here, you click it, and you'll see the links that, when the, the item that's not there, it'll just skip past it. What was that, the fifth one? This is a 4K. I have to stop it pretty quick because you can't let it play. You see that? And you see the, it had that link snappy and uh, like this. Let's see if this, yeah, that it, this should have been cached too. But you can see it, it skips over any of the links that it's not able to resolve pretty quickly. No, no, no. It's, it's oh. the uncast, uncast the torrents. That's why they skip. Oh, oh, okay. All right. It's looking for just cached ones. You know, uh, uncast the torrents are uh, disabled by default. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't mess with my settings on that. So it could have been, I because I when I authorized uh, Link Snappy in the resolver, um, URL and it messed with that. So let's just click this. So it's looking for something that's cached, meaning that Link Snappy has it on their server. You're not pulling it from a torrent, you're actually pulling from their server. Yeah. And that's what people get real confused. They're like, oh, that's a torrent. I'm going to get in trouble. Well, you're pulling from a server. And there you go. Playing. Yeah, this starts off real quiet. So I'll stop that. So I'm going to stop sharing. Let me back out of this. All right, so we'll go ahead and do the drawing. Get uh, get going with that. So let me uh, – I got everybody's name that was in there. Uh, let's do, 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 do. I guess I do need to share again. Hold on a second. All right, so we're back on me. Beautiful, beautiful me. All right, so we have the names here. And so um, what we're going to do is when you get a name, um, if you win, 
post. Uh, you'll have to post your email. I'll grab it and then I'll delete it so that it's not sitting there. And then I'll give it to uh, Twilight and he can send you the voucher. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Makes sense. Okay. So, and now this one, I have to spin it. Think. Uh, or do I have to hit? Let's see. Let's shuffle. There we go. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, d -Rup. Okay, so I'm going to remove d -Rup because he doesn't need to still be in the... Um, the the uh the winnings so if and i will we'll, we'll spin it again but if you would um let me stop sharing d rup if you would post uh post your um email there real quick and i will copy and paste it and put it somewhere so i can send it to him and we'll and we'll do another drawing i just want to do this one at a time so i don't so <laughs> I'd like to buy a vowel. Let's see. D Rup. D Rup. Oh, come on, D Rup. A B. Please, Bob. I like the wheel of I like this little wheel thar. What's going on there? Okay. So that was. B rub, right? Okay. Well, while he seems to be taking a while, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll draw. We'll draw again. He's not posting. So let me get back to sharing my screen here. Let's close Cody. That's just one more thing that's running in the background. I don't need running. Okay. And you can see I do a lot of these uh, these drawings, so I, I'm real good at it. Okay, so we're going to spin it again. I think. Dave P. Right. Okay, so hold on a second, folks. Let me post this here. Thank you. All right. Uh, Dave, Dave, give me a minute. Let me draw. Let me spin uh, three more times, and then uh, I'll let each of you guys do it, and I can. It'll make it quicker for me to grab it. And um, so we got three more, three more people. I remove that. DJ Themes. All right. DJ Themes, hold on. Don't don't post your email yet. I mean, remove that. Let's shuffle. Shuffle a couple times there. All right, so we got Mark Cassidy. I'm gonna remove that one. Let's shuffle, shuffle a couple more times. All right, let's spin her again. Oh, Gordon. 
some of these people I see, I see them on a weekly basis watching the show. So it's cool to see some people that uh, are here every week just listening to me rant about whatever. Wait, I know that I've been on these things and you see your name so damn close. It's like, I was so close. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, here we go. Look, a trooper couldn't get any closer both times. All right, Patty D. How many did we? How many did you say you were going to give away? Ten. Ten. All right, we'll do all ten. Is that all right? We, we have it. The uh, fifth one. This is no. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six right now. No, it's the fifth one. Perhaps I missed. No, some. I got, I got, I've got six names written down here. I got. B yeah, yeah. David but the first one did not type his uh, email address. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, so he hasn't. Well, no, he did. I he posted. That was the one I sent. He actually did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I. But Dave hasn't because I I wanted to get this done first. Okay. Nebula. <laughs> Mr. Nebula builds. Congratulations. All right. So let's remove that. Okay. And who we got? Back. Bass. It's like right on near the same trooper. What troopers missed it by once, three times in a row. How you say that? Aya Papa? Aya Papa? Aya Papa? <laughs> we got one more. Bob Brown. Oh no, Tapa. Oh my bad. Oh, look how close that is. Trippa. Trip a TT. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead. I'm going to be doing this. So I've got off of me. All right. So I'm not sharing my screen no more. And uh, so that's. Uh, I'm going to have to go through some of these. And let's see, that was Patty. So Patty sent me hers. B. Rupp sent me his. All right, congratulations to the people that won. Um, thanks to um, for Twilight for um, for offering some of those things. So let's um, we'll just kind of do some random conversation about some different topics while the people that won, if you would, Post your email, and I will grab it, and I will post it up here to him. Um, what uh, what was some of the questions I had earlier? What all right? So we talked about how did you get started in in doing this? Yeah, I have already mentioned that I got started because my old apartment did not have an antenna, so I couldn't watch TV. You know, and my daughter also wanted to to watch uh, cartoons. So I said, hey, why not uh, fix Hellenic TV? But that proved uh, very difficult. So I ended up uh, doing something from scratch. And then uh, time after time, and uh, as the time passed, uh, I learned a few more about programming. I studied it. I um, stayed uh, late at nights. And 
three years later, I have uh, many add-ons inside my repository. Uh, most of them are for Greek users, but I have a few uh, for international users as well. But don't don't expect any anything uh, you know illegal, like Exodus or whatever. So you're you're you just I'm doing I'm I'm doing uh, almost ninety nine percent legal stuff. Okay. So that's um. Um, but you're doing but but the reason why you got started was because you you needed something to fit your needs. Exactly. Because it and that's the thing. A lot of times people um uh don't realize that. Most of the time, it's necessity. You kind of you want something that you're looking for a certain plug-in or add-on or something like that, and, and you're looking for it, and so you you um, you you create it to fit that need. I know that one of the things, and I'll, I'll say that uh, Blue was working on a um, subtitle. She's done some subtitles for things that she couldn't find subtitles for. One of the things she's working on, she was showing it to me, a subtitle for um, Star Wars, where it was R two D R two D 2s talking. And she went like to the total comedy end of it. Like when, um, for example, it was uh, at the very beginning of the, what's it? New Hope, the very first Star Wars, when the, uh, the stormtroopers are coming and busting in the door and R2-D2 and C-3PO are right there. And R2-D2 is talking to C-3PO. And I, I think she had on there, oh, they must have found my, all my porn. They're, they've come to get my porn magazines. And C-3PO says some things, and she just takes like a comical twist to the whole thing, which is neat. I mean, that's the thing you can do, these kind of things in Cody. And it's out there, and if someone else wants to enjoy it, they can. But most of the time, you do it for your own enjoyment. You, you do it to be funny, you know, something that you need or something that fits your needs. So um, what devices do you use? I'm using um, my laptop which is my main development development platform. It's running uh, Ubuntu Linux uh, 18.04. Uh, I have uh, a me cool Android box on top of my uh, old CRT TV. Me cool. Uh, I have uh, in, uh, two Android phones with uh, some old Sony SPs. And that's pretty much it. So do you watch now? Do you now how much TV do you actually watch? Um, uh, I watch TV uh, very, very few minutes uh, a day because I like doing stuff, but I don't watch. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's uh, strange, but I don't watch too much TV. Yeah, maybe what? movie. Uh, once a week, and that's it. I I mostly play games uh, in uh, when I do not develop uh, add-ons. I play games. Right. So, you, uh, what kind of games you like? I like uh, FPS most of the time. Okay. I'm a huge fan of uh, Heroes and Generals. It's a World War II game. Yep. Yep. Heroes and Generals was that like Command and Conquer? No, no, it's an FPS. FPS oh, first-person shooter. Okay, I, I I think I played that at one point. It's, it's free to play. You can play it for free. Uh, maybe that's maybe I played it early on. Hey, um, for the people I don't have um, emails from, I didn't I didn't see Gordon. I don't see you, Gordon McKenzie. I don't see uh, Trippa TT and Dave P. Those would be the names that if you guys are still in the chat. If you would uh, post it, post your URL in there, and other people can't see it, and I'll copy it and post it, and so that Twilight can um, get those vouchers sent off to you. Um, so, so you like a first-person shooter? I mean, it's, so you like it because it's free, or do you like first-person shooters? No, I like uh, the action they offer. I like to have action because it, you know, it offers me a lot of adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I was a I was a Quake two player for a long time um, on, on my very first computer. Um, um, 
on my on my first computer, which was like, I mean, that thing was that thing was old. We paid about nine hundred dollars for that thing. It had it had like thirty two gigs of RAM, or no, thirty two megs of RAM. Excuse me, thirty two megs of RAM in it. Uh, old PCI video card in it. But I was playing Quake two, and then Quake two, Quake three, tried Quake four, got bored with that. And then my next big thing was when I jumped into Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare was the first one. Yeah. So I, I enjoyed that. You know, uh, these these games are uh, sandbox style. When you have a close, uh, you know, you play in close quarters, you are very fast moving inside the map. But Heroes yeah. in general is more slow paced. It's, uh, it has objectives that you must, uh, you know, complete. And uh, it has uh, the strategy uh, aspect of the game, the real-time strategy, where you command uh, Ozone teams. Mm -hmm. You know, it's real fun, I think. I mean, I mean, they, they do some updates. They break stuff. But you know, they always fix. And I think they listen to the community. It's, it's, okay, play, it's okay to play. And I also bought gold. Uh, and still have uh, some veteran med membership. You know, it's fun. I think it's fun game. Um, I, I I enjoy those those types of. You got to have if you can get some team player. Like in you, when you have a team player, the only thing about a lot of times when I was with a group of, in our clan and I was in that group and we played together every single day. But you know, for me, when I started playing the last Call of Duty, I got that. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember which one that is. Whatever the one, um, I, the the hard thing is is try to play as a team, and you've got these kids, and I have no patience for some little kid screaming in his microphone. I have zero, and so when I've got some little squeaky, eleven, ten year old kid screaming, I told you to shoot him over there. I I, no, I I can't take it. It's like nails on a chalkboard. I'm like, you know, I want to reach through the microphone and just choke him out. So. Um, yeah, so it, it's a. Uh, I, I enjoy some of that stuff. So let me see. What are the other questions I have? Last TV show that you binge watched? Uh, it's, uh, you know, last show was on 2016 when I got started. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The last show you binge watched was 2016. Yeah. No other show since then. Okay. No other show since then. No, you're, you're, essentially, you are the first. I'm the first. What? I lost you. Are we still uh, on? Oh, we do have uh, the other email addresses. Huh? It's I counted uh, seven. Right. I'm waiting on Trippa. Um, and I think Gordon said to, to that he didn't really want it. Said to give it to somebody else. And uh, I was Trippa, and then. Dave P was supposed to send me his email. Um, Mr. Dave P, I looked in the Telegram chat. Uh, oh, oh, he said, okay, all right. So, uh, you Cody one, I'll have to, I'll get you, I'll get um, you Cody one's, um, I'll get you Cody one's um, information. I just got, I'll get, I'll get you you Cody one because he said Dave said give it to you Cody one. Because he's part of their team. So that's going to go to you, Cody One. So I'll, I'll get you that one. And then uh, Trippa, Trippa TT. Uh, I, I don't see that. That person has not um, given up a. Uh, so let's see. You want me, I guess you want me to spin it again for the guy that gave up his? Yeah, that's 10. I'll spin because Gordon, I think Mark or uh, yeah, Go Mike, Mark, blah, 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 if I can speak, Mark, Gordon McKenzie said to give it away to somebody else. Okay. So I'm going to spin it and here I'll, I'll share my screen so that someone don't think I'm trying to do some hoodoo. Sure enough, it'd be someone, one of my friends are like, ah, oh, yeah, sure. That's what Dabs does, gives it to his friends. Spin that wheel, Bob. Big money, big money, no whammies. Big money. Trooper. Oh, Trooper. Come on. 
Why not Trooper? <laughs> trooper, they hate you. Trooper, they hate you. How do they? How do you skip past? It goes right past him each time. Because I, I hit this this circle. So, uh, what's it? Zabby Gabby. Um, if you would give me your email, and I'll I'll give this to uh, I'll give this to him. Zabby Gabby. Is Abby Gabby gone? I can't believe that. Uh, can't believe that. Uh, lost that. Uh, okay. What? Well, I got another question. So, what's the what version of? Uh, look at my hair, all a mess. Okay, the, the ladies might be coming in here. I got to make sure I'm looking right. Um, what version of Cody are you using? I always use the latest one. So you're in 18.2, 3? 3. 3 is almost out. Okay. I can, I, I, because on my devices, I'm actually still on 17.6, but I am this close to moving to 18. And the only reason I want it is because um, uh, with, the, with the NVIDIA Shield remote, I can do the voice um, filling in the, the uh, keypad. I can actually use my voice. And it'll fill it in. That's the only reason I want it, just because I want it for that reason. Um, but the thing is, is that my I have all the repos and stuff on on my shield, and that means I've got to go and wipe it and move some shit around. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I think the atoms won't have uh, issues running on the new version. Mm -hmm. But uh, what what you you're going to uh, have issues is the uh, skins. Yeah. This yeah. has to be converted. It's time uh, a new version is released. Yeah. Well, there's still if you're on the 17.6, as long as you stick with that, and or if you you got to fork the skin off so that you don't get an update. Um, if you you know if you don't have issues with your setup, yeah, uh, with your Krypton actually setup, you know it's fine for it's. I think it's uh, it's fine, but if you. Um, you want to use new features, for example, games, you have to move the, to the new version. Or, yeah. uh, you know, YouTube actually has a few issues with uh, the Krypton version. Uh, it's, um, you know, some videos play for five, five seconds and then they stop. Did you did you experience such issues? issues? No, I haven't. I know that today I saw numerous people posting in our Telegram group that um, um, YouTube, there was some issues with some of the YouTube stuff. Um, I, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Um, if you have uh, activated the MPEG dash add-on, the input stream actually, uh, you won't, uh, you don't experience this, uh, this issue. But if you don't, then you will, uh, it will actually fall back to the old uh, HLS URLs and it will uh, fail. After five, five seconds, it will fail. Huh. I haven't seen that. Interesting. Oh, and Vapor, uh, Vapor is, uh, or Vaping is saying 15.2. I actually found 16 to work really well. 16. Yeah. Um, uh, I found 16 to work really well. I, I was yeah, Jarvis, Jarvis was a very mature re release and very stable. Yeah. After after you know a few pull requests, they made uh, on for Krypton they broke stuff. For yeah. example, if you if you just uh, this was I, I did I think they did this on purpose uh, to break some uh, builds. If you copy and paste your uh, an add-on, you know, a folder inside your add-ons folder. Yeah. And then you restart Kodi, it will automatically detect it and enable it. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was not the case for Krypton. No. You, could, you could not do this, uh, you know, uh, on Krypton. No, because you had to change, they had to, we, they, all the wizards had to be rewritten because it, you couldn't just do a copy and paste the, the, or unzip it. And put it in the folder. It would, it, you know, there is a, there are a bunch of scripts that can automatically enable your uh, add-ons. Yeah, you know, it will work around this. Uh, uh, let's say removal of feature. Mm -hmm. 
it will uh, uh, also uh, I forgot what I wanted to say um, <laughs> anyway I'm passing the ball to you yeah well um I enjoy I, there, there was a I, I like 16 17 uh, um, I do need to, to, to update this one to, to 18 um, uh, but you know we were talking about we, I said about binge watching I don't binge watch a lot of shows um, uh, I, I just my TV is 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 not on a lot um, like I might have it on something like this which is just showing YouTube um, or, or, um, the only shows that I've watched of lately was I started watching Sneaky Pete. I watched s s most, most episodes of that season one and season two. And, um, shoot, there was one that I started watching yesterday. Shows you how much I remember. There was another one, another uh, show I started watching yesterday and, um, I, I don't know. I, I get bored easily um, watching the show. I, I start my brain starts turning, and I'm I, I'm like I, I don't want to watch this anymore. Right? Um, some people can watch. I know like Blue, she can watch just tons of, of episode after episode after episode. I swear, I get to that third episode, and my brain starts amping out. Chernobyl <laughs> is on my list to watch, Paul. That is on my list. I don't know. Have you seen like? Well, you said you haven't watched the series since. 2016. <laughs> so I guess you ain't seen Chernobyl. Yeah, Chernobyl uh, is very. Uh, it's high rated show. It, uh, yeah. it yeah. displays the the uh, events that happened on 1986 in in, in very uh, realistic way. I must yeah. say. Yeah. Good um, show. Yeah, I recommend it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna. That's on my list to watch. I actually had started to look at it today and you know, i put it in my series tracker the butcher i actually watched the butcher um i watched it about a week ago i saw one episode then i saw two episodes on sunday um it's a new uh have you ever seen like the iron chef or some of those kind of shows or top chef where they um um where they it's like four contestants and they're competing and they have to be judged on certain things and I'm a butcher by trade. That's that's what I do. Is I'm a butcher, and um, that that show is they have to actually butcher stuff up and do it in a certain way and make a certain amount of money. Or, or uh, one thing was is they had to slice slab bacon. They had to slice it, and it had to be exactly one pound. Couldn't be 15 ounces. Couldn't be 17. It'd be 16 ounces. 16 ounces. They had to do that like three times or four times. Um, I, I did see the alligator one. I need to watch that one. I did see the one where they cut up a was it an ostrich. I think they cut up an ostrich. Did see do a snake um, and an iguana, which I've never heard of someone eating a damn iguana. But they said that actually iguana meat has gotten to be very popular in the U.S. in in uh, South America. That uh, a lot of people are eating uh, iguana. And I don't know. You guys have many iguanas there? Uh, excuse me. I said, do you have many iguanas in your country? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I've, uh, so I haven't seen that up. Hopefully, um, I can get started on some more shows. It, the thing is, that we have we have the ability to watch anything whenever, and it seems to me that we tend to not watch that much. Most of the time, when I talk to people that are in Cody, uh, very few of them can say, "Oh, I'm watching this and this and this and this." They, it's, it's, they, yeah, well, I watched something, you know, a month ago and, um, you know, so it's, it's interesting that we have the opportunity, but we never, we never use it. So it's because usually we're busy doing other stuff. Um, so we got that going. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and if someone else, uh, one of the things I saw, there was a question. I wrote this down. Um, someone asked about it. What is our thoughts on RD? Um, which, I'm guessing RD. I don't know if that goes along with um, with premium services. So, what is your thoughts on the use of? I mean, you're you're talking about Link Snappy, but what's your thoughts on these premium services? Um, I think they are the future. If you want to have quality content and like torrents, you will notice that it's very easy to or to to watch a torrent. 
that it's in 4K quality. It's uh, it has uh, four uh, five five point one uh, audio yep. for surround audio. You know, it's the it's the future in my opinion. Um, so you can avoid uh, downloading torrents yourself. Use uh, a service to do the job for you and stream directly to your to your screen. You can have, uh, you know, premiumized offers, uh, VPN service uh, offers also uh, a cloud storage. Yep. So it it combines many many useful uh, features uh, in one into one service. Uh, now, off, now, did you say that? And I might have missed it when I was when I was adding all those names. That Link Snappy was talking about possibly adding storage that people would be able to use storage or have like premiumized does yeah um i discussed with the webmasters and they, and they are thinking uh, to introduce a plan uh, especially for Cody, that it's going to be uh cheaper uh they are also going to uh, introduce a vpn uh, feature and uh, that's it they are going to add a few more uh, features into the service. Yeah, and, and again, there's that's new. So there's um, some aspects of this as they're 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 it's um, it, it as it grows and they will they see the if they see the interest in Cody that you know they're going to give some of that stuff. Bass, I thought I deleted yours. No, but I don't think anybody could see it except for you and me. But I think I hid your comment about it because everybody else is, um, I don't see your comment up here anymore and I've already got your name. Oh, uh, you mean about Link Snappy, the link about, uh, for Link Snappy? No, 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 Bass was his email. Cause it was, you know, cause he can see it when he posts in there, but other people can't see it. When you do a URL in uh, a .com, a .eu, whatever, in the chat, it won't show it unless I tell people that they can see it. So he could see that his email was still in there but it's it's gone. It's I don't see it there anymore. But I, um, nobody could see it because I hadn't allowed the others to see it. So, um, so just be sure. Um, I think that um, for right now, though, because uh, Jay Sergio hasn't added that plug in yet, correct? No, it's uh, it's already added, but uh, he did yeah. not uh, uh, merge not the the latest uh, tweaks. I. I requested. Okay, because I'm thinking, because the thing is, is if people start signing up, um, I, I got from your repo, I was able to get a different version. Yeah, I, I tend to update uh, Resolve URL from my into my repo uh, a lot faster because right. I want to, uh, my users to try the new features. So can you post over in the site, in the regular chat? the um address to your your repo and yeah, then sure. they can ins they can install it um and then um then they can install it and and get the uh, version of resolve url so that you're able to um so they're able to be able to use the link snappy with all those things all right so i posted that so that is the if you if you're one of the winners and you have link snappy or if you get the link snappy um you want to use that that repo there, and um, yeah, I posted the link. Okay, all right, and I see that Mr. Vape posted a question. It says, "Why do you think Torrent Freak has removed their tweets posting their articles regarding UK supremacy's arrest?" I I don't know. Um, to me, I feel that I again my opinion. So take it for what it is. I think Torrent Freaks and the in um, uh, what what did all right? Since you said I can't use his real name, what was it? Elizabar? What was it? What was his his? Eliazar. Eliazar. Elizy Bob. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. I think to me, I feel. I don't know if it's the same person, but they they seem to they seem to be very they get a lot of the same information. So, is is he torn freak? Is he not torn freak? I don't know. Um, it just seems 
Torrent Freak is only focused on streaming stuff and driving traffic to their websites. And now you see all the YouTubers and, and uh, all these people posting, reposting their, their posts, uh, which I just find very interesting um, that they do that. But I, I don't know if he, maybe he felt like uh, that it was going to put people in, in jeopardy by, I don't know. Um, Cause I mean, he was the, what was one of the first ones to post about it and then removed it. So I don't know, maybe there was some, maybe there's some, maybe the, uh, maybe there's too many questions, but I don't know if he, he removed his tweets, but did he remove his posts about it because it was posted to his um, thing. So he may just not, not want it on Twitter and he just wants to drive traffic to the website that he has it at. I don't know. Um, it's possible they could have been asked to take the tweets down. It, it, it could. Um, the post is still on the site, right? So it could. It could be that they. It could be that they're worried about. They could be getting the Twitter police. You know, Twitter having complaints. Um, that could very well be that there has been people that have gotten complaints that uh, people complained to Twitter about certain things said. So maybe that's the situation. But again, it's, since it's still on a site, I know that. Like I said, I see all the these YouTubers retweet. And or repost to their websites what you see on Torrent Freaks. Um, I do, even though I, and I again I'm not a big TVA fan. I, I, I'm not, but I, I, and I do think that Torrent Freaks is right there. Somehow he's tied in with, with Elizabeth. I, I just somehow feel like that. So sometimes I'm a little bit leery to read it because I'm wondering what the spin on it is. Sometimes I think people spin it to to gain the right um, impressions by people. So um, I don't know. I I just seems I the fact is, and there was like there was the thing in the in the newspaper, the articles online about the arrest. So I think the rest are true. Maybe he's just trying not to get in trouble. Maybe whoever got arrested said, "Hey, how about not posting about that?" I don't know. Um, it is kind of a, it is a sad, sad week, uh, I will say for, um, since I know so many people, um, uh, in doing Cody community stuff, I really I, hate that. I think, uh, I mean, uh, most of all, the main platform code is not going anywhere. It's not dead. No, the, code, the platforms, no, the, the platform. They, they won't die. No. Code will never die. You know? Um, but add-ons come and go. Yes. Eventually, some some new some new add-on will appear. Then it will go down. Another add-on will appear. It's, it's, it happens all the time. You know, I remember. I remember in 2014 it was Go TV and Go Movies. Then, mm -hmm. then Lambda merged them into Genesis. Then he said, "Oh, I will uh, you know phase out Genesis," and uh, then he introduced Exodus. Then Exodus went, go out, then Covenant appeared. Covenant disappeared, <laughs> and then another add-on, you know, the new works appeared. And it's nowadays uh, more uh, works are appearing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I have to uh, uh, go out. Yeah, it's, getting, it's late for you. And I, I it's already late. It's yeah. uh, it's almost uh, two o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, anything you anything you want to finish with, and then I'll close up the show. I will. Um, I will just uh, send emails to the winners in a few moments. So users must, uh, you know, have a look at the email service to receive the message with the voucher or link snappy. And make sure to give the um, use his repository um, for right now until uh, Resolve URL has that other fixes in there. So, um, but thank you for being on. Thank you for. No, the, the first. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. I'm the sorry. First iterations, the first iteration of the Link Snappy will work just fine, but it, it has 
the the tweaks I made for the second iteration will uh, only affect the uh, uncast uh, file hosts. Oh, for the uncached. Okay, so it's going to work. It just you changed the settings so that it would only show cached. No, it will still show uncached, but it has a setting if you want to disable it uh, completely. The, the file host. I'm not talking. About, uh, I'm not talking about torrents. Okay. All right. All right. Let me uh, go ahead and close up. I want to thank uh, Twilight for coming on. Thank Twilight for offering um, some information about Link Snapper. Like I said, I had no idea about this until Jay Sergio had posted a tweet about it. Um, thank you for for creating the, the the plugin and putting it out there for everyone to be able to enjoy and giving everyone another option in um, in some of these premium services. I do think it's moving more and more to to having to have a premium service if you're wanting good links. You can find links that's not. I think links are going to be available. Just the the higher end links are going to be more and more difficult to find as APKs and add-ons point to these. Um, as Google gets takedowns of URLs, there's all kinds of stuff like that, that, that these, it's going to make it harder to find. Um, yeah. I'm a person, I like 4K, I have 4K. I like to watch 4K and we're using a premium service. I'm able to watch 4K as long as I'm not on my Wi-Fi, which is my fault for my Wi-Fi issue. But if I'm using... Yeah, I forgot to mention that yep. uh, I have a, a discount code available if users want to purchase a membership. It's going to uh, uh, offer fifty percent less. So yeah, it's a fifty percent discount 50 for signing. Yes, I'm going to type it in the comment section. Okay. It's twilight without the zero. Okay. And so you'll use that, and if we, for anybody that has the vouchers, you'll once you sign up for for Link Snappy, you'll go in on on your account. You'll go to I think. Uh, uh, elite, I think it's elite uh, membership. Yep. You go to that, and then that's where you enter in that yeah, yeah. code. So that 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 I was struggling trying to find that. I was looking all around, and I was like, "Where is this? Where up with this voucher?" But once you sign up, you go into your thing. You'll be able to see um, elite membership, and you click that, and you will should be able to see that. So, yeah. uh, but I, again, thank you for coming on. Um, I, I like meeting new people. I like hearing about uh, new projects that people have going on, um, hearing about old projects. I like to hear about when people were working and you were saying that, you know, you you uh, were having, you and you had dealings with Lambda. I mean, to be honest, Lambda to me uh, is one of the, the great um, innovator, innovators of, of modern third party stuff that we're using. Um, yeah. He, he, he did a lot to put us where we are now and um, major props to that. Any of your new people have no idea who he is. So I think that you got them and TK Norris and some of these that did so much work on the early end to get us there. Um, it's just amazing. So I want to thank you beyond here and thank anybody else. Me. Say again. Thank you for having me as your guest. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime. Um, and I'm open to, to having all kinds of different guests on. Um, I don't, I don't look to have just the same people over and over and over. If you're working in APKs, you're working, you got some Cody add-ons, um, some builds, or if you got some different plugins, things that you want to help teach that we can talk about that help teach people. I'm, I want to teach people um, as much as I can. I want to make it what I, the videos I do, I hope that you're able to enjoy, you're able to watch what you want when you want um, as easily as possible. And, different ways for different people, but uh, slowly just show what I know and hopefully bring people on that can help um, make whatever your streaming thing is, if it's Plex or APKs or Cody or or whatever, you can find some information here. So I just want to thank you for being on here. Thanks everybody for, for watching the, the show. Um, thanks to the people that won. Congratulations to all the, the winners. Um, and again, if you want to be on the show, you, I'm, I, you can find me. I'm on Twitter. I'm on lots of different places. Pretty easy guy to find. And, um, you know, have people on, shoot the shit, see what's going on. If you got some stuff to share and information, that's what I'm, I'm here oh, about. I'm, I'm pretty certain, certain that uh, the next time I will, 
communicate with you. I am going to have the script ready for uh, you know to pick uh, the winners <laughs> automatically. In yeah, one, so, so I don't have to, I don't have to go copy and paste. <laughs> copy and paste uh, 70 names in there, but I just want to thank everyone for being on here. And um, again, don't panic. Cody is always changing, it is always changing. Um, the one constant about Cody is change. Uh, and if you can't deal with that change, Cody's not for you. Uh, I appreciate uh, all that you've watched. And as always, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.